Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Hey, Barbara, good morning. Gorgeous out here. I'm at the north end of Vanderbilt Beach in North Naples, Florida. Those ripples you see out there, that's some early morning swimmers, our long distance swimmers that swim up and down the beach here early in the morning. Christina, good morning. Nice seeing you on here. Right now the temperature is about 60 degrees. Saw some beautiful colors earlier from up on top of the Bluebell Avenue Bridge. It's a look up to the north at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Of course, we can't go in there. That is off limits. The entire park and its beach are closed for who knows how long. But they're working away. I have a feeling it might open sooner than expected. Wouldn't that be awesome? They're working hard in there. And I know the state wants that park reopened. Heck. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it opens sooner than later. But for now, just stay out of it and let everybody do their thing in there. Don't be sneaking around the fence. I see entitled people doing that all the time. That fence is there for a reason. Park is gonna look a lot different when they open it up, a lot different. All the dunes gone, all the sea oats gone. Pine trees gone. Hit that share button if you're enjoying the view here. By the way, no signs of red tide here this morning. Gorgeous band of color on the horizon. Good morning. Looks like our little duck friends are out here this morning already. A couple of them anyways. See them swimming out there? Boy, we saw a lot of them the last couple mornings we were out here. Big old group of them. 
Now I only see three of them out there. I'm sure we'll run into them again. I'm sure we'll run into them several times throughout the morning now. Hit that share button. Come on, there's nobody out. What's going on here on Facebook? Everybody's sleeping? Please don't tell me they went to work. Ugh. That'd be horrible. Ooh, I just caught a glimpse of the sun. Right down in there. See it right in the corner there? Peeking through at us. Good morning, sunshine. We get to share another sunrise together. Tide's on its way out. Low tide's around 1030. 1030-ish. Now water temperature's 75 degrees. Look at all the birds. Seagulls. Oh, and there's all the little ducks. I think it was the ducks. Yep, all the little ducks taking off. <laughs> Did you see them running across the water? Must be a school of fish out here. Beautiful sight watching the birds. Yeah, all the little ducks running. Just flapping their little wings, running across the top of the water out there. All in a hurry to get up here for something. What's going on? Must be a school of fish. Oh yeah. There's a they're chasing them right up onto the beach here. That is so cool. little feeding frenzy going on. Boy, it's been a while since we watched one of these. Little excitement to get our day started. They're just chasing this school of fish up the beach. Send some stars if you're enjoying the action here. Hit the share button. I think it's fun watching the birds. They're fighting with each other, <laughs> squabbling.
Yeah, pretty soon they're going to get up, go into the park. Maybe they'll turn around. Maybe those fish won't go into the park. <laughs> uh -huh, the birds are flying out. That was cool. Where did all the little ducks go? Here they are. There they are. You see them out there? Turning around. Hey, I'm gonna start my march down the beach. That was fun. A little excitement to start our day with the birds. Just some beautiful sights watching them fly. Fly and fight. <laughs> Cheryl, good morning. Rose, I know you're on there. Good morning, Rose. I don't know if Randy's on here with this yet. But thanks for hanging out with me this morning. have turned around. I thought they were going to be following me up the beach, but they turned around and went the other way. I know we'll see them again. Get a little more light on them on the way back. Looked back up to the north to look at Del Nor Wiggins again. So this morning, I'm gonna do things a little differently. If we started on the bridge, checking out this morning's early colors, our first light, and that's always, in my opinion, that's a beautiful sight to behold. And we'll take a little walk down the beach. Then I'm gonna take another, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna do a little live feed on YouTube. I wanna start doing a little more for my YouTube followers that group of friends is expanding there. We're up to 12,000 subscribers on YouTube now. And I really never did anything to build that audience. It just kind of grew on its own. So I'm going to give them a little live feed, a short little 10, 15 minute live feed in between parts two and three here on Facebook. And then I'll be back for part three for my walk back up the beach. There are some people that follow along on YouTube that don't watch Facebook. And some of them live here. Some of them will be down here for the winter. 
So I want to give them a early morning look at the beach if they're planning on coming out. Give them a heads up, let them see what it looks like. A lot of people, that's what they watch these live feeds for, to see what just what the beach looks like in the morning. Before they head out, the paddle boarders and kayakers and swimmers. Good afternoon, Liberia. Wow, good afternoon. Still morning here. We're just getting started and you're having lunch. <laughs> if you just happen to pop on here for the first time, please don't be shy. Introduce yourself to our beach family, the Southwest Florida Television Beach family. Get in our beach family group. You'll see a link to that in the description of this post to my, to Southwest Florida Television's Facebook groups. By the way, if anybody's needing some prayers, don't hesitate in sharing your prayer requests in the comments here on Facebook. Thank you for the stars. Sun coming up right behind that clump of palm trees there. You can see it winking at us. See it? Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. I'll see you, Carol. Beach friends. Anything good out there? See nice. What's that? I haven't you haven't caught them, but you're seeing them. Oh shit! There's a dolphin up there. Go oh sweet! I just got down here. There's like two dolphins going this way. Oh wow! And then next thing you know, I turn my back and watch them fly. Oh wow! Yeah, it's out. Next thing you know, the whole everything just exploded. Oh yeah! That's amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Have you seen any snook coming along the edge here? Yeah. Yeah? Huh. Those boy, the dolphins were going north? Yeah. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, I, cool. Have a great day. Good luck.
Man, I wish I could zoom in. There is a dolphin out here. There was a whole pot of them. Well, a group of dolphins. Five, he said, earlier. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll come in closer here. So they were out there having a feast on a school of fish, tossing them up in the air. Darn, it's out there. It is out there a ways. Nice to know they're here though. So they were swimming up to the north. Darn it. Back, back towards Wiggins Pass. Absolutely glorious morning. Thanks for hanging out with me. Clear sky this morning, huh? Next few days here are supposed to be cool. It'll be nice. Today they're talking about maybe a high of 81. That's not so bad. Start out at 58, go up to 81. So our friend, little Mary, Mary Bradley, she wants to come down here and march. She doesn't want to come down here if nobody else is going to be around. So she's trying to get some feelers out. If you're friends with Mary Bradley on Facebook, let her know your thoughts. She's hoping that we could have a little group of beach friends have some get togethers while she goes down here. So she's trying to put some feelers out there because she needs to get her reservations now. <laughs> the sooner you get your reservations, the better.
feel an afternoon breakfast coming on at Maple's House of Omelets today. I'm craving something from Naples House of Islands. So breakfast, lunch. Breakfast you can eat anytime. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. A breakfast dinner is always fun. to catch yesterday evening's sunset. I came out for an hour and did a live feed for sunset. Clear skies, just that big fireball sitting in this into the gulf. Beautiful. There's Randy. There's something splashing around. It's a swimmer. There's a swimmer out there. They're making their way back now. That group of swimmers we saw earlier. Yep, people are going in the water. It's their choice. There's no water police out here keeping people out of the water. You do whatever you want to do here. Walk the beach barefoot. Walk the beach in combat boots. Go swimming. Go swimming in a wetsuit, don't go swimming. It's all up to you. Nobody's here telling you what to do. The only thing I'm gonna tell you is our beach is open. Here in North Naples, Vanderbilt Beach is open. All the way, our beach is open all the way down to Marco Island here. From Vanderbilt South. There's even a little tiny piece of the Naples Pier open that you can walk on. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. Just a sliver. I got kind of waylaid here. I'm a little behind on my walk. We were watching those birds earlier. That was fun. While I was watching the birds, there was dolphins just down a little further to the south. <laughs> it figures, right? It might have popped up in the back. I was so focused on the birds. Has anybody tried that rewind feature while I'm live? Does it work on your phones or tablets or whatever you're watching on? It doesn't work on every device, but some of you should be able to like rewind during a live feed and check things out if you miss something and then catch back up.
So what's new in your world? Anything exciting? Got any new grandbabies? Any new fur babies? Thanks for the stars. We're not even to the La Playa yet. Holy smokes. Dragging my feet here. saw Dexter earlier this morning on his way to the beach for his Tuesday morning beach walk for his five mile walk on the beach. Taco Tuesday, hippie I A. Taco Tuesday, Daryl. Tacos and margaritas. <laughs> Sandpiper scooting by. quiet out here this morning. It was a little on the chilly side for us Floridians this morning. A few people probably waiting for it to warm up a little, but it's nice now. 
I don't know what the current temperature is. It's nice. We're just about down the beach by the La Playa now, almost to the La Playa. And I think they're getting close to opening up the front half of the hotel, the bay side, as they call it, of the hotel. And I hear the bulldozer bulldozing away leveling off the beach see they're cutting this edge off all along here this big edge that you see here this ledge they're taking this sand and pushing it to the back of the beach so it's a more gradual slope and filling in all the holes it looks good what they've done so far Just need to do some fine grading with that tractor and rake, that big rake, that, that beach rake that the tractor pulls up and down the beach here, and it's going to be nice. There's still junk buried in the sand and junk in the water, debris in both places. You'll still see signs when you come to the beach advising you to be cautious, you'll still see signs that say storm water in the water. And what that means is yucky stuff, bacteria. Although all the websites that I have checked lately says the bacteria levels are what they usually are now for the Gulf. The Gulf is always got bacteria in it. VIB, the flesh-eating bacteria, that's always out there. You gotta be cautious. That's why it's always a good idea to rinse off when you get out of the Gulf of Mexico. And don't go in the water if you have any open cuts, sores. Ladies, Think about when you shave your legs. That happens to ladies a lot. They'll go swimming right after they shave their legs in the Gulf. Not a lot, but that's one way to get exposed to the VIV. The Vibrio. We'll never forget our dear friend Roy, what happened to him. He taught everybody about that, about flesh-eating bacteria. That was a good lesson. It had nothing to do with red tide or hurricanes or anything like that. It was just the unlucky draw. He fought it and beat it. God bless him. Amazing. Came close to losing his leg, came close to dying there for a minute. I think, do I see a tractor up there? Or is it the bulldozer? No, I heard the bulldozer. 
Wondering if they're raking and bulldozing. Last time we're out here, they made it up as far as the Floridian Club with the bulldozer. I wonder if they stopped there for some reason. We're gonna find out, aren't we? That's for sure. Comes, I think it looks like Dexter coming towards me here in the shadows. Oh. Nope. That's the old bulldozer there. So they are up to the La Playa now this morning with their dozer. Doing an awesome job here. Awesome job. Oh, I do a beach walk in the morning on Facebook. Oh, yeah? You guys are doing awesome. Oh, man, we appreciate it. I just was wondering, was you posting it to YouTube or Southwest something? Florida Television on Facebook. You okay. want to see yourselves working? Yeah, I'll check it out. I might, on my way back, I might stop and get a little video of you guys doing it. Yeah, we're just getting started. I'm, I'm waiting for some fuel, and I had to late. Well, you're excited. making, you're getting up the beach pretty fast. Yeah. How long you think before you get up to the end? Uh, I'm hoping probably maybe Thursday or Friday. Awesome. Saturday, I'm hoping at the latest. I want to be out of here by next week. I was talking to a friend of mine. Is there a reason that they didn't fill in? You didn't fill in along some of the sea walls? Is that for an inspection? Uh, no, we're coming back. We're gonna, I got to get a smaller machine. Ah. This one's just so big and bulky, man. I, I don't want to get up. break the seawall? Yeah, I don't want to get up near it. I told my <laughs> boss, I collapse. said, man, I could get close to it, but I, if I, you know, if I, I, I jerked the wrong way or something by accident and then yep. I hit it, it's going to scar it. I don't want to Yeah, I saw you had, like, some sand stockpiled. Yeah, I, I left a bunch of sand fat up in there because we're going to bring a skid steer back, and then I'll get in there with the little skid steer yeah. and clean all that. Yeah, the smaller amount you put in at a time, I think yeah. the better, too, right? It fills in better but, but yeah. yeah it's coming along yeah i mean and once they run that rake up and down a couple times yeah that's gonna what be i'm really waiting nice. on i wanted to see him run the hair but i think he's gonna wait until we're done i mean even the this... foot traffic is is nailing it down too oh right? yeah when i was coming in yeah. this morning i was looking at where everybody was hanging it's out it's nice the foot walking down there yesterday. but um yeah it's it's Man, awesome we gotta, uh, and it's clean there's I... a there's a pot of dolphins you saw that. Somebody else they're, was telling me all about that. They've been down here, and they were 20 feet off the water. Oh, man. They were right there. We were watching them. Up Somebody was down morning. the beach was telling me. I just missed them. He said there was like five or six of them. Yeah, they were, they were. Jumping out of the water. Oh, we didn't see them. We didn't get to see them jump up, but they were definitely doing their little dives. You uh, see them going around. It's tough having to work out here, isn't it? Oh, man. It's a I tough job. <laughs> all right, I'll catch you. Hey, what's your name? I'll catch you on the way back. All right, he's up by the machine. Can't hear me. So they think by Thursday they're going to have this all dozed. That is awesome. That is awesome. I mean, it's a huge difference from up in front of the dozer here and all behind it. Absolutely awesome. Hey, Beth. Yeah, 
gosh, apparently there was a lot of dolphins out here this morning. Somehow I just missed them. I'm sure Daryl, or Daryl, I'm sure Dexter, sorry, Daryl. I know you would have liked to see him. I'm sure Dexter saw him. I'm sure he'll give me a report. I don't know where he is. He should be passing me by here. Hey, hit that share if you're enjoying our walk this morning. Hit that share button. Also, tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite them when you're sitting around having dinner, having a happy hour or whatever. Show them Southwest Florida Television on your phone and invite them to follow along with us. And tell them to tell their friends ask them to tell their friends. Share, share, share. That's what it's all about. Sharing and sharing and sharing. Right out in that water. Look how calm that water is, boy. Great morning for boating. Great morning. Paddle boarding, kayaking. Just a little tiny breeze now and then. Water's looking great, too, by the way. Again, there's no red tide. No signs of red tide here. That's offshore, not bothering us, leaving us alone. Looking good. There's a paddle boarder out off in the distance there, offshore, if you squint. Son of a gun. Just mentioned how nice it is for a paddle boarder. And there's a paddle boarder heading to the left. Hey, that's one of our paddle boarder friends that we used to see at Delnor Wiggins. Happy, happy Tuesday, my friends.
borders out there. Our power paddlers, Mark and his friends. We would see them in the mornings at Delnor Wiggins. Ah, that looks like Dexter. Let's see if he says anything about dolphins. You on schedule? How Are you, you on schedule? Yeah, on schedule. Yeah. Hey, I saw three dolphins. Okay, there. I was wondering if you're going to tell me that. I'm hey, the only one that didn't see them. One, one of them's coming this way, actually. Oh, okay. I just saw it right down here, not too far Ooh, down. Oh, okay. So you might get to see it. I know the, the guys in the dozer said he saw five of them out here. And the fisherman said he saw six of them. Well, the first one I saw was right by your friend's house. That's up for sale for $28 million. <laughs> That's where I saw the first one. Uh, I was walking down. And then I saw two coming back. Oh, coming back. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So it's beautiful. See. It's beautiful out oh, here. Oh, it is. Just a little chilly. Yeah. It's it's getting warmer now. <laughs> yeah. It I is. mean, I am starting to sweat. Yeah. Now you could use shorts. Right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. It's just standing good. on that bridge against me. Oh. <laughs> good luck with the they, yeah, All right. They say they're going to be done with that thing by probably Thursday. How far up? They got to go all the way. Yep. Up to Wiggins. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, good. He says hoping to be done by Thursday. That's, that's and then they're going to run that rake up and down. Okay. And it's going to be nice up there. It, 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 it's it, clean. It. You notice how clean that sand is up there that I they're know. pushing up? Yeah. yeah. But I like this. This is nice. It's yeah, nice cutting this edge out. off. Yeah. Yeah. Really it's, nice. it's great. It's a lot better than I thought it would. Amen to that. <laughs> Still going to be a while before they get all that oh, cleaned up. I, that's sad. Yep, yeah, it's sad. I wonder if they're all going to. If they're all repairable and I wonder if we're gonna even give permits to the houses, because the houses now have to be seven feet. Yeah, some of those houses are in bad shape. You should, the moorings down there at the Moorings Beach. Yeah. Some of those older condos not good. All right, Dexter. You have a good morning. You said there was a couple dolphins heading this way. Trying to keep my old eyes peeled for him. Saw one that was far out there. Wish they'd come right up into sh on the shore and put on a show for us right along this edge of the water here. You know, dolphins actually beach themselves once in a while. They actually teach their young. There's some video. I know I saw one video on YouTube of dolphins teaching their young how to chase fish up to the, right up to the beach and showing them how to get off the beach if they accidentally go flying up on the beach. I mean, we've seen them up in, you know, inch deep water here along the shore chasing the fish. It's amazing. I saw one down at Clam Pats one time and my darn phone didn't have a charge and it was actually swimming. It like went across a little piece of a sandbar, just kind of belly flopped right across just this little stretch of sandbar. I thought I was seeing things. All right, in a couple minutes here, I'm gonna make the switch over to YouTube. I'm going to walk down the beach, walk down towards the La Playa on YouTube, and then I'll come back to Facebook. 
So if you know how to find Southwest Florida television on YouTube, look for my live feed there. If not, I'll see you a little bit later this morning back on Facebook. Hopefully I'll see you. As always, thank you for the stars. Remember, I do appreciate your friendship. I love having you walk the beach with me. But I do depend on your support to make ends meet each month. I get a penny for each star that you send me on Facebook. Those of you that send them, thank you. Those of you that have made the commitment to become a subscriber to my Southwest Florida television page, thank you for doing that, making that monthly commitment. That is awesome. And of course, tips. Very much welcome. Tips go a long way. Every dollar counts. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. You can find me on Venmo. You can find me on Apple Pay. I'm not trying to get rich, nor am I getting rich out here doing this. I just seem to squeak by every month. But it's because of your support that I can come out here and do these walks. So if you like to see them continue, consider becoming a supporter. Tis the season, remember, tis the season. Happy holidays, my friends, happy holidays. Give me a peek at this water. A little bit of sun hitting it here, looking nice. Before signing off. Look up Vanderbilt Beach. The south end of Vanderbilt Beach here, the old south entrance, which is still closed. All right, I shall be back. I hope I see you oh, in 10, 15 minutes or so. Maybe a little longer. I'll do my best, but I'm gonna go live on YouTube. So switch over to my YouTube, Southwest Florida Television's YouTube channel. You should be able to find it. Look for me live. I'm gonna walk back up to La Playa on YouTube and then I'll come back to you on Facebook from La Playa for a walk back up the beach. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.